What is going on, you guys? It is Miva, it is Shira, it is Viva, it is Scorpion Reds Tarot. Thank you guys for clicking this video. Shout out to all my babies, all of my collected gatherers. Shout out to all my newbies. Thank you guys for coming through and showing me love, all right? Um, uh, this is a pick a card reading. Um, as you can see, we got all of these different rocks that have different sayings as y'all seen on the thumbnail we got the believe pal the believe pal with this oracle card we got faith with this oracle card we got the love group With this oracle card, we have the dream group. With this oracle card, and we have the imagine group for our last group. With this oracle card. Alright, so if you guys don't mind, um, bow your heads, close your eyes. Let's just say a quick prayer before we go into these readings. Um, focus your energy and uh, select the power that's calling to you. Alright, so real quick. Father God, thank you so much for collectively gathering us here today. We thank you for giving us the blessed energy of beautiful life, free air, love, and daily bread, and just... A nourishment energy father God we thank you for delivering us from places that we don't need to be and seeing the things that we need to see and believing in us um, and moving forward daily in our blessings we thank you for removing any blockage or barriers from ourselves. we thank you for uplifting us so we're not stressing we thank you for us walking in our glory because father God they don't know our story father God please give the collective gatherers the guidance that they need today please allow them to um, get the guidance that they need from these piles. Um, I feel like a few of them probably going to select a, a couple of different groups um, or watch the whole video. But Father God, please allow everyone that clicks this video to receive the message that they need to receive today. In Jesus name, amen and amen and amen. All right. So let's get into this energy. All right. So pile one, if you picked the Believe rock the police the believe group this is your reading so you got this oracle card which says don't be afraid to slow down as this is when you can make real inner change y'all see that again it says don't be afraid to slow down as this is when you can make real inner change. All right, my believe group. Let's see what we got here. You got the angel of strength. You have the page of swords in the reverse. You have the Two of Pentacles. You have Water Your Garden, Nourishment, Body Care, Tenderness, Rest. Don't be afraid to slow down as this is when you can make real inner changes. Water Your Garden. This is such a beautiful card, y'all. I just innately just I feel like your dreams take you to such a beautiful place. I feel like sometimes you guys have these beautiful, vivid ass dreams where it's like you almost don't want to wake up. Like it's so serene, it's so beautiful. You feel so comfortable there. So like Please make sure y'all are getting y'all's beauty rest. Please make sure you're getting your look, okay? 
nourishment make sure you're drinking water water why i just heard you needed to, you supposed to drink a half a gallon of water a day like someone really is not drinking enough water you got the seven of cups The fool in the reverse. And then you got the five of swords in the reverse. Okay. So this group, the believe group, what I'm feeling right now, like you guys are at like a crossroads in your life. And with this page of swords enemy. Ooh, I said enemy. I was trying to say with this page of swords energy. You got the page of swords and you got the five of swords in the reverse here too. So this is like telling me with this group here. Like maybe you guys do have some like individual or like an enemy or energy around you. Because here yeah, I'm looking at um, this two of pentacles. Like you see it's like rocky turbulent waters back there like it's, I feel like it's a lot of things going on and you're trying to keep yourself focused with this angel of strength I feel like you're very beautiful inside I feel like you're a very patient person and you don't like arguments because with this page of swords I'm feeling like petty arguments like people looking too deeply into things and I feel like a level of like ignorance. I feel like you're trying to like remove yourself. Look into other options. Because this is when like you're really going inside and trying to like do some soul searching right here. With this two of pentacles and this seven of cups right here. Like you're definitely going inside and doing some soul searching. Y'all excuse me if my hands are shaking because I like. I don't know about like am I the only person like your hands are always cold like my hands are always cold y'all oh my goodness mm, mm, mm. and then I'm hearing that and I don't know why am I feeling like that is like a message too why I'm feeling like for some reason someone is kind of like feeling cold inside and it's like your belief system is like kind of what is keeping you balanced here and with that angel of strength i feel like it's taking everything within you in your energy not to fight back and not to like um invite or engage in the level of pettiness that is like surrounded around you that's why I like the fool in the reverse it's like you're not making any foolish decisions i feel like normally you probably would jump out there and engage in like participate in the clownery and i feel like you're too mature as you think you think and you strategize a little bit more about what you're doing so with that five of swords in the reverse it's like you feel like somebody is trying to it's like a saboteur like there is an enemy there is like a negative person in your environment somewhere somebody that's trying to take something from you that is trying to um I just heard like use you as an escape goat and then the five of swords energy in the reverse that's like it's like what I already see them coming it's like I already know what these people are going to do like I'm not going to lose at this game you know what I'm saying like the five of swords in the upright is where it's like you like completely being a victim of someone's treachery but in the reverse it's just like I already seen this person's game like I'm not foolish I'm already looking into other things because something ain't working for me I'm not jumping out there I'm not if I was to respond to whatever this is I would look just as dumb as you do <laughs> you know what I'm saying so it's like this group right here like you were very much so keeping yourself grounded like grounded and I, and, and I don't feel like you are feeding into immaturity. So it's like, if with this being said right here, don't be afraid to slow down as it is when you can make real inner change. So with this page and this page of swords in the reverse, I feel like you may cut people off, like really give someone a sword, you know, and like stop talking to people. Um, 
and I feel like maybe this is like a new attitude from you so I feel like maybe this is like uh, a sharp direct decision that maybe just comes very quick like very quick and direct and bluntly like I don't know you I don't want to talk to you no more I don't want to engage with you no more I feel like you're definitely going inside you're nourishing your body like instead of you giving your energy trying to engage in something like that I feel like you're taking care of yourself you know what I'm saying you're going inside and you know it's like man I, I'm lessening the confusion because I'm not no fool I'm not stupid and I don't have to talk to you and I see what you're doing and I'm good <laughs> it's like I can still keep myself balanced on one foot if I want you if I want to you know what I'm saying so okay I'm not even going <laughs> let me give me the tea tell me what's going on give me the tea okay so you got a broken wishbone a wish will not be granted the chain, a chain of events that will affect your life. What is this? Bird flying. News on the way. And baby, you got the money path. A path where money is waiting for you to find it. You better go ahead and do that inner work, girl. <laughs> Listen, whoever you is, honey bunches of oats, please go ahead. Don't be no fool. Don't trust this situation. You very much so. You... You, it's someone trying to steal your shine, trying to steal your joy, trying to steal your recognition, trying to take credit for something that you normally do, trying to beat you at your own game, trying to do something to you that it's just like, mm -mm. no, we don't tolerate that type of energy. Instead of me engaging with you, I just completely remove myself. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, <laughs> I just heard birds, birds flying high. You know how I feel. So listen to that song if y'all if y'all never heard that song. Birds flying high. Give me some more energy. Give me, what's the tea? Ooh, okay. Pow, believe the believe pow, baby. You got the rose. You got romances in the air. Up right now. So something may not be working for you. But it's going to change your life for the better because not only is news coming in regards to finance and career and love, you got the candle. You will be shown the way and it says you are highly thought of. So listen, <laughs> listen to me, Tonita. <laughs> I don't know what this, what to say. Power one, believe. Believe God ain't doing it to you. He's doing it for you, baby. You seen these motherfuckers coming. Just take the time and just breathe, baby. Breathe. Do not engage in the freaking nonsense because these people are fucking miserable. You know what I'm saying? And God has an anointment on you, baby. You got the angel of strength and you got this two of pentacles right there. Listen, one hand washes the other. When one hand get tight, that's when the other one start working, baby. You just keep yourself balanced. And as long as you put it good, good energy in, it's going to come out in everything you do. Keep yourself balanced, baby. These people don't mess with the wrong one. Just pace, the, pace yourself. Don't be afraid to slow down. As this is when you can make real inner changes. This is when you can hear yourself talk. Have you ever just needed to call a friend just to hear yourself talk sometimes so you can figure out your own situation? <laughs> do y'all understand what I'm saying? Have you ever done that before? I do that shit all the time. I call my friends looking for advice only to hear myself talk to figure this shit out on my own. Believe. All right. So shout out to y'all. Let's get into the faith power and before i do that let me put this charger on before we really be in a conundrum okay i am reloaded all right let's get into it my faith squad what's up faith gang gang let's do it yeah all right so you got this beautiful cords right here and it says learn to keep your heart open and soft through the trials of life. Ooh. 
and keep your heart open. Okay, girl. What you about to receive? Faith power. What you been praying for? What you been believing in? What you been calling towards you? My faith pal. Learn to keep your heart open and soft. Keep it soft, girl. Okay? Keep it soft. Let's see what we got. Ooh! We got the garden and the gate, honey. Look, you just going to stand there at the gate or you going to go inside, honey? Are you going to get uh, glamorized by all of the gifts and the trinkets at the goddamn gift shops? Or are you actually going to go into the amusement park and enjoy the rides, girl? Do not stand at the amusement shop. Go and enjoy the park. You see all that vast lands, all them lush valleys and stuff like that, girl? It is so much more to explore on the inside okay so we okay okay you got the ace of swords oh you got the ace of swords in the reverse hold on what's going on and then you got the king of, and you got the king of wands in the reverse hold on now what the what the what the what the what, ooh, 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 ooh. now i see why you like hold on jesus i'm gonna have to call on you i got faith and stuff but i'm confused <laughs> i'm confused i don't know i don't know i don't know what to listen to right now i don't know if i'm coming or going um this could be a masculine energy right now hold on so sorry guys this could be a masculine energy right now that um isn't sure about the way that they feel about something it's like I don't know if I'm going to have the staying power that I need to. I don't know if I'm going to want to be here forever. It's just like I'm not sure. I don't know if I really want to do it yet. It's like that's probably why you're like standing on the outskirts kind of looking in to see if you really want to spend your money to buy a ticket to go and... Because have y'all ever went to like a state fair or like an amusement park or something and it's like you pay $30 for your entrance fee and then when you got in there like the food sucked like you wanted some churros and, 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 a, and a turkey and a turkey leg like um in Disneyland and they turkey legs were dry it wasn't the same and then like the uh, the rides look rickety and they didn't look safe and or the people operating the rides wasn't paying attention and you just didn't feel comfortable and you felt like you spent your money for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if it's like you might need to like check the reviews on something before you get into deciding to do something because this person right here is unsure. It's like I need to do more research or it's like whatever someone is saying isn't making sense um it's like you trying to lure me into the other side of a situation that you're not going to stay committed to and you're just going to end up quitting anyway you know so i don't know if this is someone that's dealing with the king of wands a uh, king of wands energy of you I'm not sure if whatever this is has that staying power or something that will make you want to invest your time long term. Like the King of Wands is a very talented individual. Like will I be able to be myself? Will I be comfortable? Will I be able to really let my hair down and tell my funny weird jokes and invite all my friends and you know um when they understand my personality and, and, and my hobbies and my ventures, like I want to be a rock star and I want to do this and I want to do, but they support my dreams, like and my passions, like it's, mm. so what is this saying? The great servant, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. Didn't that say something about, hold on, it says learn to keep your heart open and soft. Through the trials of life. And then this says softening to love too. Softening to love. Softening to love. So. Ooh. And you know this is a. This is some turbulence. 
this <laughs> turbulence okay this is like inner turbulence so somebody has came and rocked someone's goddamn world i'm gonna tell you that you got the okay so what do we got here you got the high priestess in reverse you got three faces too so pay attention to that because you know the high priestess is like the whole a lot of that is a hus it's, it's a whole lot of whole lot of shit that you don't know you know and with it being in the reverse, this, these are things that are being exposed, things that are coming out, things that are being revealed. Um, it's like things not being fertile because in a reverse, like the high priestess could be like an unfertile woman because in the upright, the high priestess is a fertile woman. This could represent pregnancy or something. So this could show, and especially with the gate at the garden, so this could represent like... Ain't nothing really growing on the inside. Like, this could be someone that was tricked and that was uh, glamored by the outside appearance. Like, it's like the at the gate, they have all these awesome gifts and all of these brochures. And they really trick you. Like, they really, really trick you to make you think that you're going to have this amazing, uh, joyous experience in the inside. And it's like... You got to be careful and pay attention to what you get. Didn't I say something about someone checking the reviews of something? So it's like you could go in there and decide, I don't want to be here anymore. Because it's something about, it's like the individuals. Like you got the high priestess in the reverse and the king of wands in the reverse. So like if this was a love reading, like this would show signs like of a mistress. Um... Yeah. Something being exposed, something being reviewed, why somebody has been wasting their time in a certain situation. So if it's like, if you feel like someone has been wasting your time and they've just been in and out, in and out, fickle, but when they're there, it's like very good, it's very passionate. You, you, you know, like this person really makes you believe the facade and, and really has the gift of the fucking game. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, really does. <laughs> like, you believe all of that shit. Like, you fell for all of it. But at the end of the day, it's like more information started to come out. It's like more things started to come out. And it's like a lot of changing faces. There's, there's a lot of different people saying the same shit about this one individual. You know? Where they at, where they're going, what they're doing. So, with this whole thing about softening your heart through the trials of life. I feel like you're at the beginning stage. Now, we're going to flip this card. Because, I, again, I'm going off of what's around. And then we got the Ace of Coins and then the Eight of Wands. In the reverse here. So what this is saying is like. You got to slow down a little bit. Because things are not happening to you. As quickly as you want it to. Because I feel like. You got to be careful. You got to pay attention to. What you about to walk into. And I think you understand that. I feel like that's why you kind of been standing there and waiting. Because in the beginning, I was like, why are you standing there? Why are you standing there? Okay, I see why you're standing there now. Because it's like the person that invited me here, I feel like they invited me off of false pretenses. It's like maybe they just wanted what they want from me. Like, has someone ever invited you over their house and then they stay and chill with you for like 45 minutes and they're like, oh, I'm about to get up and run to the store or some shit. And they get up and leave. And the next thing you know, you sitting there for another 45 minutes to an hour, 15 minutes by yourself. And you like, is this bitch about to come back? I know this motherfucker ain't just leave me here. Like, what you invite me over here for to just leave me? Like, what the fuck type of shit is going on? It's like, it's something that's... I feel like will piss you off in the long run if you trust your faith. And that's why you're standing on the outside. Because it's just like the reviews. It's like I feel like you're having some type of review of things that were said. And it's not making sense. 
And I think things that other people said about this King of Wands, this individual, like shit's coming out. And it's causing some, it's causing an eruption in somebody. But at the same time, um, and I feel like that's, if y'all were trying to like uh, go for a pregnancy, you know, like that might be why um, you may think that you're sterile or something, girl, you are not sterile. God did not want that for you. And it's like, I, it, it, there could be some level of somebody not wanting to accept the truth about some, about an individual. With this ace of with this ace of pentacles right here, it's like God is offering you the big fish. But God needs you to receive and believe, you know, that your magic is real. Because again, with the high priestess in the reverse, this could be someone that has gifts and talent. And has connection and spirit, but ain't using it. It's not trusting it in the intuition. It's not, you know, it's like you knew, but you weren't trusting yourself that this is like some bullshit and don't believe the hype. You know what I'm saying? Like this is bullshit material type of shit. Trust your faith. You know what I'm saying? And again, it's like rely on your sisters. I don't want to say like a coven because I ain't trying to be talking all that witchery stuff because I definitely am not into that. But it's like you could be like not listening to what your spirit guides are saying or like other people that. um It's like practice with you or something like that. It's like. It's like you're not using it the way that you should. You're not using your gifts the way that you should be utilizing your gifts. So I feel like maybe you should like spend more time on practicing the art of self-love and working your own magic and believe in your magic, believe in your faith, believe in your power, believe in your individuality. Like you can attract whatever the hell you want. You don't have to take. The bullshit that somebody is giving to you. And, try, and your intuition and your faith is what made you stop and look on the inside and be like, oh, nah. And I feel like because you stopped and needed to do some deeper investigation, that's when all of these fucked up reviews and all this hidden shit started to come out. And God was like, see, that's what I was trying to tell you. This ain't for you. You might have been about to move too fast. And God may have a bigger fish for you. This is like the true gift. This is something solid. This is something brand new. Has something brand new for you. But he just needed you to see that this is not where you should be going. And you're not going to reach any type of success here. Or it's going to cause a lot of drama. Because the eight of wands in the reverse. That 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 gives me hood drama. Because you know this person did this. And you know I girl I seen your man. And your man was over here. Girl I got your man. Bitch get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Like, girl, you can have that motherfucker. God is giving me something way better. <laughs> like, please cut that out. So, don't let something, don't go low. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let nobody, don't do that. If you stood there and you waited, you did that for a reason. Trust, trust your faith and trust your intuition. And keep praying. Keep praying until God deletes you. And regardless of this shit, Listen, learn to keep your heart open and soft through the trials of life. Because this is you learning. This is you blossoming. This is you truly learning how to trust your gifts. Do you understand? Because this this, this right here is like someone. It's like you were around the teachings. But it's like you weren't trusting it and you wasn't using it. And I feel like this time you're going to use it because it's like God is really giving you the gift this time but slow down you know what i'm saying nothing that comes fast nothing that is worth having comes quickly and again the eight of wands too because remember that means like like a, a lot of fast communication a lot of things coming to you all at one time like someone trying to reach a target trying to reach their goal but again you gotta vet the situation now you can't just take and be into and just accept every fucking offer that comes to you because 
Slick talkers and cons, man, they talk fast. You feel me? Give me the tea. What's the tea? You got the bread. A period of prosperity and abundance. You better come the fuck on, baby. You got the weeping willow. But there's family sorrow. What else we got? And then you got the horse. But it's a short journey, baby. You ain't be, you, Listen, you are not going to be going through that for that for that long. No, ma'am. Give me one more from this one. Okay. Maybe two. All right. You can take two. Group two. What it do? You got the barking dog. Advice from a friend. In the door. Opportunities are awaiting you. Opportunities are awaiting you. Slow down communication. Like whatever, whatever this is, you thought you were going or you were supposed to be going, cancel. Cancel. I missed my bus ride. Um I got transferred to a different division. I'm not gonna be in that state no more. I don't know what the fuck, but it's like <laughs> I don't know. It's like, no, we're not going there. We are not going there. What is this? You got the lion. You got time to act. And that's right in the center. You got the jug. A lighthearted and carefree time. Going out drinking and enjoying yourself. Okay, go ahead. It's that prosperity. I mean, you got the ace of pentacles, baby. And it's like, I, I feel like you got stopped. Be y'all stopped before y'all did something stupid. With somebody stupid. It says fears, worries, and intense situation. Because it's like you you going to have to use this sword. Is there another card behind you? It's like you're going to have to use this sword. And I just heard cut it out. I literally just heard cut it out. Okay. I Okay. God is giving me a lecture. I just heard if you believe in the faith system. And if you ask God to reveal certain things to you and to give you a sign. Listen, because this group right here was calling on faith, because it is, because you wasn't standing out there, again, that, that's, that ace of swords in the reverse, something wasn't right, that's your spirit, because remember, swords is still your spirituality, baby. And you could have been getting advice from friends. Because remember, I told you, it was some shit. It was shit coming out. It could have been from three or four different people. And, and they all saying the same shit about where you were going. Do you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it could have caused some family sorrow. But. Once you get invited to the right door. It's a lot of vast opportunities that will bring you a lot of prosperity, a lot of carefree and light-hearted experiencing, being able to truly enjoy yourself. I mean, not only drink something delicious from your own cup, but baby, you are being poured the finest wine from royalty, like something very high-ranking. Do you see this? Do you see this? Hmm. This is a short journey. Don't pay attention to all of the gossip and all of this stuff. Because I feel like a lot of shit is going to come out. Because I want to say like y'all asked for it. Y'all wanted to know the truth. Y'all wanted whatever was hitting it to, to come out to be revealed. It's coming out. And it's like, it's a gift for you because that shit needed to slow down anyway. Because it's like, God, God something bigger for you. It's what you really want. You can't get what you really asked for if you got a substitute to waste time with. Does that make sense? Okay. Alright. So let's see. Group three, group three, what it be, what it be, what it be. All right, so we got the believe in the faith out of the way. Trust that faith, baby. Listen, God going to give you what you be asking for, though. Listen, sometimes it may not be exactly what you want to hear, but it's what you need to hear to get what you truly been praying for. So make room. All right. 
So group three, we got the love group. Love. It's so many things I gotta tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know how. Okay, come on, cause it's a possibility that you look at me, Tiffany Love. Ooh, ooh. I'm sorry. <laughs> ooh, ooh, oh, no, I just had to hug myself. Oh, yes. Ooh, do I make you runzy, baby? Do I make you horny, baby? Yes, baby, yes. <laughs> Group number three, what it be? So this one says, be aware that your thoughts and feelings are just as impactful as your actions. So listen, if y'all want love, y'all keep your thoughts as pure and clear as the water. Do you understand? If you want love, think nothing but love the type of love. You see how, listen, it wasn't even nobody near me, but just the song just put me in that certain energy. It just made me want to love myself. Then I got all get inside. Ooh, ooh. Do you feel what I'm saying, girl? So, yes, baby, you got to, ooh. Mm. Pimping is a mind game, girl. And pimping ain't no illusion, girl. It's about the control of that mind. Once you know how to control the mind, baby, you control the body. Okay, sister, you've been on my mind. Okay, listen, I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like with this group, right? I don't know why I feel so silly. I don't know what got into me. I don't know if this group is very silly. Y'all have like a very bubbly and carefree personality. And I don't, I feel like the thought of love may get you into a place of sorrow. And it's like, what? Like, <laughs> Uh, oh my god wait hold on i got it okay they're telling me go back and think of the the words of love hold on love there's so many things i gotta tell you but i'm afraid i don't know how because there's a possibility that you'll look at me differently love ever since the moment i spoke your name from then on i knew that then on by you being in my life things were destined to change love okay so many people use your name in vain, love. Okay, so are y'all listening to the lyrics of what I just said? So, I feel like someone may be holding back. Because, you know, y'all picked love. So, y'all are looking for love or y'all feel like y'all are destined for love. So, oh, I just heard. Use that slow talk in your mind. Like, have you, um, it's like you gotta manifest your lover. Like, don't sit there and, um, pay so much energy about a particular person. Like, if, a, if it's a particular person and something ain't work out with them, fuck them. Cause that wasn't what was right for you. You just need to focus on loving yourself and attracting the energy of love itself when you sit back and think of this fictional person it's like you can't even see their face only thing you can do is feel their energy you know what i'm saying you could feel their spirit just the thought of being with this man or with this woman or being in love just thinking about this future situation it makes you so happy and it makes you smile and it, you know, then you go into fantasy land and you, you, you daydreaming and things like that. I need you to do more of that versus this, like what, what I'm getting from this. So it's like God is trying to get you to like control your thoughts and make sure that you only put the purest, most loving, most nurturing, most cup over filling, juicy, loopsy, goochie energy splash mountain. Girl, like if you're not thinking about your next sexual experience, I don't give a fuck if you know the person or not. If you not silly tricking, pimping is a mind game and pimping ain't no illusion. Do you understand? If you believe something enough, you can make it happen. Do you understand? 
I know that y'all done sat there and just thought about what your next sexual experience about and it just made you arouse. It just it was like, oh, you had to catch yourself. You know what I'm saying? Listen, okay. I ain't afraid to touch myself. I don't need nobody. Else. You know what I'm saying? Oh god. Let me stop. I'm churching y'all up. I'm sorry. Look. Then y'all got Karen Connection. Love group. Love group. <laughs> Okay, I am reloaded. Don't play with y'all. Don't play. Look, y'all said I came here for love and I want love. I'm sorry I had to charge y'all up for a second, but it's like get these rainy, these dark, gloomy clouds. Get that shit the fuck out of here, girl. If you thinking about love, think about some shit that's gonna make your pussy wet. Okay, think about something that's make, gonna make you want to go turn on that porn hub and, and and enjoy yourself real quick. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't had no dick in a while, girl, make yourself come. And another one, girl, and if someone is going to make you do it, do it. Do, Am I doing too much? I don't, I don't care. I'm like so serious. Look, you coming out the woods, baby. So did this this is someone that is literally coming out of feeling alone, feeling destitute. Um and again, it got to do with like a level of sickness. It's like not believing in yourself, not believing in shit is going to happen, feeling like people will always going to miss you, not pay you attention, not give you a chance like it's like they accept certain things for you, but they didn't want. It's like they kind of keeping you out of that caring connection. Baby, you are being invited in. Baby, you are hosting the party. The party is at your house. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you're going to have a caring and loving and doting home. Okay? To spend your time with. To learn how to have a healthy, because you know, the, the Five of Pentacles does have a lot to do with learning how to take care of yourself it has to do with health so this has to do with you learning how to have a healthy caring connection with both of you guys loving each other and taking care of each, uh, take, uh, taking care of each other through sickness and health so it's like if you were in a space where you weren't feeling too good like you you coming up out of that you coming up out of that. And then you got the death card here. Hold on. Shout out to all my Scorpios. What's up, Scorpios? Listen, you got the death card here. So that's that death and that transformation. So it's like, whatever, if you were here with it, feeling like don't nobody love you, don't nobody, I'm never going to be in a relationship, I'm always going to be single, I'm always going to be by myself. Girl, that deaf car came and said, oh, shut it down. Okay, bitch, shut that shit down, bitch. Shut that shit down. Listen, go ahead and just like forget everything that you were. You know what I'm saying? Forget everything that came before this individual here that you've been manifesting that you've been calling into your life and i am that is for my singles because hold on mm -mm. i got the i'm sorry here the defenses defenselessness writing past wrongs and uprooting huh So I'm going to have to give y'all two messages here on this. So, okay, hold on. Let's see what else we got going on here. We got the Knight of Coins. So we got Earth Signs. So what is that? Uh, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. We got Scorpio. And all of these coins. So this is... Straight Scorpio and it's all pinnacles and earth energy here. So there could be. Hmm. Oh, I like how the Hierophant is like so thankful for the for the death's arrival. I like that. And you know, the Hierophant is a Taurus. So it's like, there could be an earth sign that appreciates 
this energy of like change and renewal. Um, it's like when you have a, a, a understanding of the cycle of life, it's like you don't you don't cry over certain things because you understand the purpose and the benefit for um, the process for renewal. If that makes any sense. So, I feel like someone came around to help someone take the pain away. It's like somebody took the pain away, right? And then you got the seven of coins here. It's like, I want to say whoever this was was like really, really working at this relationship. Because it's like they want to make a smart investment. It's, it, whoever this is, because you know the King of Pentacles, like them, the, the, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they are money managers. They are educators. They do not believe in wasting their time, wasting their energy, and focus on things that um, do not make sense to them. You understand? They are very grounded individuals, so they're not here to play the fool. So if it's, like, it's like, if I'm going to give this to you, I want to give back. I want you to give back or I want to give to someone and know that I'm not going to regret doing it later. You understand what I'm saying? So if you guys are in a relationship, I feel like because of what this is saying with these dark clouds, the be aware that your thoughts and feelings are just as impactful as your actions. I feel like someone, especially because I don't, I feel like this, I'm sorry, I'm taking this on the head for you, a, a Scorpio. I feel like maybe the Scorpio energy, because it's the death card. It is the fucking death card. It's like sharp removal. Ask no questions. It's life. It's the way, it, it's, it's like something being shut down and removed with no explanation. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel, but it's, it's like I'm getting that the Hierophant is happy for the death's arrival because it helped them come out of a place of like lack or something. And, it, and, and it's like things ended up like mysteriously getting better. But it's something here about this, I'm sorry. I feel like someone needs to apologize to the other person for feeling like the time and the energy that they spent was a waste of time. You know what I'm saying? It's like, um, I want to say, because I keep hearing this like I didn't mean to make you feel this way. Hmm. I feel like these are two separate grounded energies. I feel like these two people are very careful in what they're doing. I feel like these are two solid individuals. And I did say Taurus and uh, Scorpio. Because again, in this death card, you see the Scorpio, you see the death, and you see the Hierophant. Gracefully, like happy. It's like they understand each other. And I believe Taurus and Scorpio are the opposite signs. So they're, they're very much the same, but very much so opposite. Who in the fuck? So I don't know if someone needs to um, apologize for... I feel like not understanding this experience and feeling like something was a waste of time. And if this is a new connection, I want to say don't come off too harsh. Like, I want to say, like, quick to break things off, quick to not talk to someone, quick to just throw everything away, quick to feel like all of this work, all of this investment, because... The King of Pentacles is about the long haul. They are not here for to bullshit around. Like they will invest in you and they will 
help you. They will nourish you. They will nurture you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and y'all know how our Scorpios are. Like, we can just be like, man, but you you, you ain't answer the phone, nigga. Cut you <laughs> down. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like through whatever is going on here with this death card, because these two cards, these three cards right here are telling a story about what's happening now, I think. Or what may happen that may muddle the connection. Because this is a strong connection. This is a strong love. And I, both of you guys are investing in each other. I mean, it's like y'all are patiently waiting and, 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 and trying to see how this shit is going to grow. But I feel like someone is wishing negative energy on the outcome. It's like, you know, this this going to be, this not going to turn out. Do it. Like, stop thinking that. Don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. Give me got. Mm -hmm. What is this? The dog protection from a powerful friend. Let's see. You got the seahorse. Family matters. Jeez. We got grapes. Time to go out and have fun. We got cobwebs. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. What the fuck? Fuck. Protection from a powerful friend. Family matters. What the fuck is going on? I feel like it's like, it's like someone that they feel like they're helping you. And it's put... What's going on here with this love group? Why are you saying this? What's going on? Where's this protection from? The boat, money or property through an inheritance, winnings or windfall. They're trying to protect you because it's like you about to receive something. You about to grapes. Like you about to come into some money or something. Because remember this is the five of pentacles. So you guys could be going from rags to riches. Group three, y'all could be going from rags to riches. And it's like. God is trying to protect you. Ain't give me guidance. What else is going on? Give me the tea. What's going on with group three with the love group? Yeah, because you know the six of coins is like someone being used for their money. It's like someone always being all asked for help and you know always someone always got their hand out begging them like. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. It's like, I don't really like you. I just like your money. I like what you can do for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, something like that. Ooh, I just heard that's why I don't want to talk to you no more. I feel, why well, I feel like someone said that to someone. I feel like if someone was really offended. Ooh, I just heard when I met you, you was broke. So why would I want to use you? Ooh, the shade. <laughs> ooh, that's ooh. No, ooh, they going in. I, I just heard y'all let you you letting negativity get into your head again this time. Okay, you got the boot. Increase your efforts and you will achieve your goal. You got the boot. Triumph. Over troubles and obstacles. Communication. Let's see what else we got that came out here. We got the wishbone. A broken wish. A wish will not be granted. You got the candles. You will be shown the way. And money path. I told y'all. Y'all about to come into some fucking money. So I'm going to keep it real, y'all, especially with this shit coming out. It's like, now with all this tea coming out, y'all, I feel like you could have you met someone, 
y'all could have been investing a lot of energy in each other and it's like a very current connection but it's like someone feels like they may be getting taken advantage of it's like someone may be sticking around because they know you about to like you on a money path like something is about to come into you because I'm sorry this protection from negative forces beyond your control and protection from powerful friend and like do you see how like these people are separated right here and it's like God is bringing you out of obscurity. It's like you like you were in a fucked up place. And it's like. I feel like God don't want to bring you out. Of. Where the situation where you were at around the wrong people. Because if you're not around the right people. It's like they, they might try to take it from you. Like God I don't want to be saying this shit. You know? What the fuck. And that's crazy. I'm sorry, man. Like, what the fuck? Bro. Brody. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm nosy. I want to find out what's going on. Um. Tell me what's going on in the shadows with this connection. Give me guidance. Give me two cards, please. We ain't gonna do too much. Okay. Jesus, it's too much. Okay, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Okay, this is just enough. Okay, you got the death in reverse. God is like, you'll get over it. I feel like you, you you're going to cry quickly and get over it. It's it's for renewal. You know what I'm saying? I feel like God got better options, better opportunities for you. And um, I just heard believe and make believe. Wasn't I telling y'all to do that earlier? It's like, you know, like train your thoughts better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like if you felt like you were in a caring connection and it didn't work out and like if God abruptly ended it, it's because it was like the hierophant was prepared and ready to receive you because y'all got other work to be doing. It's like, yeah. These other people may have been affected by your decision, but I needed you because I got, I got another, you know what I'm saying? It's like something else was supposed to happen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Something else was supposed to happen. You're going to get over it quickly. You got the star card, trust in your faith. And again, it's like you are a star, like you're special. You know, all your wishes are going to be granted and come true. Just be patient and follow the North Star. So follow the North Note. Look up whatever your North Note is and educate yourself on that. I'm not even an astrologer. I don't know shit about that. But I just heard follow the North Star. So do that North Note energy work. You got the tower. So it's like, yeah, something suddenly um, could just change within an individual or something could have just changed quickly but I feel like it's for the better God I feel like a why I feel like a jealous lover God what the fuck am I yeah and then I, I'm getting like a jealous lover why I hear a scoring jealous lover because you got the three of wands and then you got the four chalices too because it's like It's like you just moved on. It's like you just moved on quickly, just suddenly. It's like one day you just woke up and you were just like, I don't know if I want to feel this way. I don't know if I want to, because it's something about the blessings that are coming into you. And it's like this situation, you know, it's like going to be a wish not granted because it's like someone is using you or around you for the wrong reasons or have the potential to be a waste of time or like I say take advantage of your kindness you are a star and you got a lot of things coming to you and like I said it's like milk and honey baby milk and honey 
Whatever you've been praying for, whatever your faith has been holding on to, God is giving it to you. That's why God is taking whatever from you. God, why do I feel like someone is about to catch somebody with their woman? But it was like this girl was leaving anyway. Look, the four cups. She telling you like she she's showing that she was disconnected. Like she, I just heard intoxicated too much. Someone's intoxicated too much, and it's like their sales set elsewhere, and it's like a way better love situation so it's like if you were crying over some type of love situation or you were letting whatever happened previously like maybe say sorry to yourself because i feel like the more and more that you are focusing your energy on what didn't work and what it says feeling just defenseless writing past wrongs uprooting like the more you try to Oh, because I'm hearing, like, because writing past wrongs and all that shit, like, are you still communicating with someone you shouldn't be talking to? And you got the king of, you got the king of pentacles? Girl, you better, you better pay attention and focus on your work and your investment and what you got. You do not want the king of pentacles to feel like he, oh, he wasted his time. Ooh. And not be talking to no fucking ex trying to have no goddamn. Oh, uh, I need a resolution. No, you don't, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, don't. I'm sorry. Okay, we got the love group up out of the way. Love, y'all was juicy like Lucy. Y'all was juicy like Lucy. We got two more to go. Let's get into the dream. What do you mean? Dream group. Let's see what you got going on. What about I dream a simple fantasy that I wish was reality that you come knocking at my door and we Relive this dream once more. Hey, last night I dreamed that you were here with me and we were in each other's arms. It was all so heavenly. <laughs> he helped me. Oh, I don't want to go on the phone. Sorry, that's my song. Come on, dream. Come on, dream. What you mean? <laughs> Calm down. G calm it down. Calm it down, like Miss Sophia says. Calm down. Okay, what are you doing? Calm down, dreamy. Dreamy. It says, trust in divine order. You are being helped. Okay. Ooh, y'all are real fiery. Y'all are oop. 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 Look, you want it. Look, look. It's my money. And hold on, hold on. I'm gonna... <laughs> What's the thing? It's like, um, it's my money and I want it now. <laughs> Well, let me see what y'all dreaming about. Oh, attachment. Oh, child, you trying to get away from somebody? Mm hmm. Last night I dream. Oh, you trying to get to something else, girl? Like, you're like, I'm, I got this mask on right now. Cause this, I, like, this person really can't. I got to keep this mask on. Cause I ain't, I, it's, it's dark. It's damp. It's too much. Is that a number five? That's a number five. I need change. I need to get the fuck. Okay, look, I got a mask on right now. I'm I'm dreaming of a better environment. Okay, because it's dark, dank, and it's stank down here. Why well, I feel like someone living in a, in a basement apartment, or you be going to visit somebody in your in a basement apartment, you feel like it's the fucking dungeon and shit like that. I got this mask on and shit like that. I'm acting like I enjoy being. Here. I don't like being down here like that. Like the fuck. <laughs> you got the Knight of Wands. And you got the two of swords. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. I don't reload it. Listen. <sighs> I'm ready to go. They're like, this is someone that's just like, why well, I feel like it's someone feeling like I, like you in, like you visiting somebody's house and it's like after 15 minutes, like you really wanted to go home, but you didn't want to interrupt the party or offend nobody and let people know that you really, I, like, I, I want to leave. 
why I, it's like why y'all it's like because of this attachment i don't know what it is personally that's holding you here and you holding this you got this mask on but you're dreaming of a new existence and it's like you're at a crossroads and you don't want to see i feel like every time you see this person and hear what this person has to say it throws you off and when you make a decision to get up and go because passionately it's like you want why well, i feel like you got a new a new boo ooh, ooh. Well, i feel like you got something new going on y'all something i mean you will drive a far distance just to get to this why well, i feel like y'all be driving to go see this individual or go do whatever this is that got you open like whatever it is like you be so fucking excited it's like you be having butterflies be so giddy like you want to look good smell good you want to be presentable it's like you show up on time like you show up a few minutes early you know what i'm saying like you be racing like you be like as soon as you can get some free time it's like you be sprinting and go dude like yo what the fuck you got the high risk Longing for home, homesick for the stars. Listen, I dream a simple fantasy that I wish was reality. That you come knocking at my door and we relive this dream once more Ooh, last night i jail go i'm sorry oh! <laughs> group four i want more give me more give me more give me more give me okay i'm sorry i sorry i sorry oh you got the two of wands oh oh Looking at each other at a far distance. Do we do we need to meet at your place or my place? Where's we going? What are we doing? Like you got the same energy that I got. I feel about you the way you feel about me. What I go like? I'm so sorry. Like sometimes when I get the two of wands, I really get the energy of like two different entities that have the same idea, the same passion, the same. the same idea about each other it's like you you knew boo you knew boo you know what i'm saying it's like this is exactly what i've been looking for this is what i've been trying to attract to myself um damn i just heard uh um did oh, i can't never say it divinary it's like divinary energies align so it's like the ace of wands could be to me someone using their magic to create a manifest a new beginning and i feel like that's individually what these two people have been doing and it's like y'all cross paths because again this is someone at crossroads And this is someone that anytime they can break away, get free time, it's like I'm running towards this individual. You know what I'm saying? Because I see myself being here more than over there. Then you got the fucking chariot. So this is travel. And then you got the two of swords in the reverse. So... What this is basically telling me is someone is like, I, I, I want to say they are, they've been dreaming and manifesting about moving on and going the long distance. So you could be relocating, you could be just traveling and just making an effort to move towards what you really want instead of having this mask on. It's like I'm tired of dreaming about this shit. I want it to become my reality and, and, and to. I'll be damned if I'm about to be sitting here, keep waiting on it. Like you're longing for it. Like you're homesick. It's like every time that you go into your mind, like that can be home. It's like you're more comfortable there thinking about being with this person than being in your personal, physical attachment and environment. 
It's like, I'd rather be in my dreams than here. Like, I'm completely hiding what I really want and where I want to be. And it's like, I'm tired of doing that and I'm not, I'm not going to do that anymore. So, I, 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 someone is looking elsewhere because the grass is greener on the other side. And it's like, I, I want to paint a better picture for my life and my lifestyle. And I'm confident in where I'm going. And, I don't, and nobody's going to stop me. Nobody's going to stop me. And I, I, I think whoever this is is going to move very quickly. And, I, and they're not going to ask anything. They just want to get up and do it. Because it's like, I, I sat here for too long. You know how long I fucking sat here? I feel like for two years someone dealt with, like, kind of. No. What's the see? You got December. Ooh! I, didn't I tell you this shit was about to happen? Fa Y'all keep thinking it. Y'all keep thinking it's a motherfucking joke. Look, some shit's gonna be revealed. The sunrise, listen. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Y'all can think these cars playing if you want to. I don't think these cars playing. A broken with. One thing I can tell about this shit here is God is changing some shit up for individuals. It's like, no, we about to clean this shit up because we only got, what, how long? Two more weeks? Uh uh. New. Uh uh. Uh uh. uh, -uh. What's this? The casket. I told you something is, is coming to an end. Close. I don't want this anymore. It says someone is going out of your life or the end of a situation. Mm-hmm. Listen. Dog, close up. Your close companion. That's who you attach to? Yeah. Pleasure with a close friend. Ooh. Who you been with? Mm, let me mind my business. Ooh, Lord. Ooh, Lord. Ooh, ooh. Look. A man. Ooh, 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 ooh. Your close friend that's a man. Ooh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Birds perch waiting for news, a package, a letter. He's like, when the fuck is you coming? Ooh! Breaking up with this. <laughs> the grass is greener. Ooh, and the dick is. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What does it say? It says someone you know is undependable and in is in is yeah, undependable and insincere. Mm, 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 mm. Whoever this attachment is. Mm. Unicorn, use your intuition and make beneficial changes. Come on now, come on, unicorn. Got that dip, splash mountain unicorn pussy girl. You said this, a, listen, this good pussy ain't for everything and everybody. I can't, you can't be keeping this good shit up in here like they got me all chained up, locked up. You trying to keep me inside in this motherfucker dungeon? I look, ugh, ugh. It says mice, discord amongst family and friends. Ooh, mm. oh, I feel like someone's gonna be telling your business. Ooh. Y'all be watching who y'all be telling y'all business to. You know, gangsters move in silence and violence, girl. We don't be telling nobody y'all been in, no, we don't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Move in silence and violence this December. Look, don't be telling nobody your motherfucker business, especially if you try and get the fuck away from this. <laughs> girl, if you don't keep your business to yourself, girl, gangsters move in silence and violence. Listen, look, whoever it is, he gotta be, or he or she gotta be back home. Boy, that pussy make that nigga feel like home. Hello. Okay. Now. He said, I'm about to motherfucking hang my coat up, nigga. Okay. I am reloaded. Boom. Okay. What is we talking? Go bold. Thank you for being a friend. He said, girl, travel down that road and back again. He said, I come right on. My heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Okay. Bitch. I appreciate the love. I'm not even going to be irritated because whoever it is, they love me. They love me. That's why they, they love me. They love me. All right, last group here. We got Imagine. Imagination Station. Okay. Let's see what we got with the Imagine. I like these lanterns. It says, learn to grow from the wisdom of your feelings by allowing yourself to be friends rather than deny them. 
Oh, okay. Imagine and befriend your feelings to learn and grow from the wisdom of your feelings. Okay, come on now. Feelings. The feelings. Hold on. Oh, the thinking woman. Okay. Yeah, you be in your head a whole lot now, don't you? Mm-hmm. Talk about imagination station. I oh, why well, I feel like okay. I feel like whoever this group is is like why I'm getting Virgo or like why I'm getting Virgo energy. It's like very particular and critical. Got the Queen of Wands. And then you got the Page of Cups in the reverse. Ooh, who the who are you pouring the cup out? You don't. Ooh, someone just said, I don't even drink no more. I don't even want that. Why well, I feel like someone just decided, like, I'm rebuking the party lifestyle. I don't want to do that anymore. It's like I'm focusing on my studies, my education. Uh, it's like I'm tired. It's like I, I feel like who now I'm getting Aquarius. It's like I used to be a party girl. Or Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Um, it's like you used to be a party girl or something. I feel like you're rebuking the party lifestyle. Um, you know, also, I feel like someone is not interested in what they used to do creatively anymore. It's like you're studying something else. It's an activated earth. Power places, lay lines, trust where you were led. Yeah, it's like someone is pouring something out. It's like maybe you're imagining like a different environment. A diff I heard a different institution. It's like, well, I feel like you want to work for a different institution. I feel like you want to be the leader. Um, it's like you want to be the creative entity there. It's like you want people to take your lead and... Um, Design things based off of your brand standard structure, you know. Well, I feel like you guys are um, making clothes or embroidery or doing something. That has to do with like tapestry and fabrics or something. I feel like you guys are like studying something. It's, you, it's something that you used to do that it, like you used to be real good at too. You know what I'm saying? It's like I don't want to do that no more. Um... And I don't, I feel like you could have just been a natural. Why I feel like you ain't even, like you could have just started out doing something, but you were a natural at doing it. And you're like, ah, it's too easy. I, I'm not interested in that anymore. And, 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 it, and it didn't even have anything to do with the money because, you know, fish represents financial abundance and things. It's like, I don't give a fuck about that money. Huh? My heart went into doing that no more. It's like, I want to do this. I want to do this. Trust where you being led. You got the hermit. You got the king of wands. And the queen of wands. So they, they go your counterpart. And then you got the knight of cups in the river. Why y'all keep throwing these fucking cups out? Imagine a place where you see someone else and recognize your face. I'm going to say it again. Imagine a place where you see someone and recognize your own face. I feel like someone's... I want to say someone's been keeping itself to their self for so long it's like their hair could have been growing long as shit it's like by the time you come outside like people might not recognize you it's like your hair grew like I, well, I feel like every time when people see you now they be like your hair grew where you been you know what I'm saying and it's like I've been reinventing myself like I've been just doing my own fucking thing or whatever I thought you did like then you used to talk to Winston and shit yeah I don't fuck with that motherfucker no more you know what I'm saying like I'm just I got this new job though actually not a new job I started a new business and I'm looking for some new employees if you know anybody that's looking for some work let them know you know what I'm saying I'll let you girl like this woman is very creative and successful and extremely beautiful um this group right here and then you got the hermit next to the king of wands 
I feel like this one is like an older man. This this man is older than you. I feel like they might not look. I feel like they don't look the same. Two very passionate individuals. I feel like they come from two different countries, though. I feel like they 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 don't they don't come from the same background or something like that. But I feel like I want to say like you guys for for y'all to be fire signs. Like it's like there's a slowdown. There's a level of maturity. It's like you could have been there, done that, or something like that. So it says learn to grow from the wisdom. Of your feelings by allowing yourself to befriend them rather than to deny them. So I feel like the wisdom of your feelings is just like I've experienced. Well, I don't want to say that you've experienced all that there is to experience in life, but I feel like these people have both done a lot. They're older. They're older. I don't feel like they do things. For the pleasure of other people. I'm doing it for the pleasure of myself. You know what I'm saying? So if it's something that I taste and I don't like. I'm going to put that back. And I'm going to tell you that I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not really interested in wasting my talent in that way. So I'm discovering something else that I decided to do. You're laying lines. Like you're drawing lines of where I'm at. Where I need to be. Where you see me and where you want me to go and what the fuck I'm going to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like I'm not going to do this. So you could be like rejecting someone's like offer um, like to come together to work with each other or something like that. Or, or something. <laughs> no. Um, it's like I learned not to um, exploit my talent. Am I getting that? Because it's not about money. It's not about money. And I feel like this Knight of Cups too. For this to be in the reverse as well. It's like. This person. Has spent so much time. To their self. Bettering their self. And just developing their self. That they're comfortable with being alone. Why well, I feel like these people are loners in old age. And. Their decisions of it's like they're so alike, but they're separate. Because this this Knight of Wands, I mean this King of Wands, he knows um how quickly he could disengage with people and he could just fall out of being interested. You know what I'm saying? It's like eh. You know what I'm saying? Like his bachelor days was wow, like when he was in college and just in his heyday. He was a piece of shit. So it's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know better. And it's like, you, you could have, he could have cleaned up his reputation from being a sly fox and just being a trickster and just all of that stuff like that. So it's like, mm, I'm getting some maturity here. So with this being said, trust where these two energies are being led because I feel like this thinking woman the last thing she's thinking about is a relationship I feel like she's thinking about trying to find a connection in regards to where her passions are leading her she's she's looking for something that can wake her up that can make her believe in her talents again she she needs something creative that is going to make her remember why she wakes up every day do you understand what I'm saying like and again, sewing, singing, uh, beauty, anything. You know what I'm saying? It says the eye. Psychic ability. Trust your intuition. Being a psychic. I mean, it is the queen of wands. But it's like, I don't, I don't want to. I'm not going to do that shit like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. And I'm not doing it for money. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to investigate and, and, and look into and so how I want to do things. It's like, I don't understand. Okay, you got the fair man, dealings or relationship. This is like with a Caucasian man, a light-skinned African-American man. I, I feel like if, if it, someone that has freckles, uh, light blondish hair, sandy blondish hair. Like I said, it could be Caucasian or light-skinned. Mountain Road. 
you are on the road to success. Or again, this could be, yes, yeah, it says with blonde, gray, or white hair. It's like you're being intuitively led. And trust your intuition. Look, and then you got the, then you got wealth. I don't know, maybe you guys could come into wealth with each other. There's some type of connection with these, these two people. Let me see. We got the fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So it's like, I feel like you guys know how to reject shit that is not for you. So it's like when you guys meet each other, y'all are so much like each other. It's, it just gonna make sense. And it's like, imagine, I forgot what I said, imagine something, because I just made that shit up. I don't even remember what the fuck I said. I said, grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. Hmm. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I want more information about this. I really do, because it's like so fucking vague. It's like, a, imagine learning what you need to know from someone just like you. I feel like you're going to watch how this person, I feel like rejects things. But I want to say like at a higher level because he turns things away as a knight of cups. You, you turn it as a page of cups. So I feel like it's a little, it, there's a lot more wisdom in the male energy than the female energy. I feel like the female energy is a lot younger and this man is a very shrewd and sharp businessman and this man can be very wealthy like both of you guys are very successful individuals or, or, or leaders are at the top of your game I feel like you guys may come into success or something with each other you got archway new opportunities possibilities and pathways are opening well, I feel like y'all might end up getting married to each other in old age. I feel like y'all done rejected so many people that y'all. <laughs> it's like you bump into your carbon copy. But anyway, you guys, this has been the video. I hope you guys received the message that y'all needed to receive. I thank you guys for spending this time with me. Make sure to tell a friend to tell a friend to come and chill with your girl. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down and below. Let me know how y'all felt about these piles. Let me know what resonated and if there was anything that, that you felt like didn't necessarily resonate. You can go ahead and tell me that too. And then I just cut the deck and we got great passion. So there's going to be a lot of great passion coming to everyone that made it thus far. So if you made it thus far in the video, put tulips down in the comment section. And God is going to bless you with a great abundant 2023. And you can put that on me. I'm up out of here. Peace.